November is American Diabetes Month. It's an opportunity to shine a light on the diabetes epidemic that one in 10 Americans are currently dealing with today. And joining us to talk more about this is Kaiser Permanente physician, Dr. Chris Stokes. Thanks so much for your time. So one in 10 Americans uh, are experiencing diabetes. What are we seeing right here in California? So in California, we're probably seeing very similar numbers uh, mirroring the national numbers. We may see a little bit higher, however, because we're a pretty diverse state. And some of the risk factors for diabetes include being African-American, being Latino, um, Asian, uh, and specifically Pacific Islander mm -hmm. uh, is a higher risk factor as well. And so because we're such a diverse population here, we may be a little bit higher than that. So as far as health problems, especially mm -hmm. with type two, type two diabetes, uh, what are we seeing right now? So we've seen in the last 10 years, the, the amount of diabetes has almost doubled. Wow. Which, is, which is quite a lot, and, and COVID actually contributed to that quite a bit as well. Everyone put on their COVID weight, and, and uh, that contributed to this. And so we're seeing quite a lot of diabetes nowadays, nationally and locally. And uh, you know, it's a, it, we've had to adjust our approach to how we're, we're going after diabetes. And you see quite a bit of, uh, again, these are some of the health problems that are caused by diabetes are right there on the screen, type two diabetes that is heart disease, stroke, so it increases the risk all the way around for a lot of these ailments. Definitely, I mean, diabetes itself is the seventh, uh, the seventh number one cause or cause of death in the United States, but it's a major contributor to the number one cause of death, which is heart disease. Mm. Uh, but it is the number one cause of kidney failure, number one cause of blindness. Uh, it's the number one cause of amputation of uh, extremities, limbs and fingers and toes and stuff like that, so. Oh. And there are some myths. We talked earlier about trying to debunk some of these myths about whether or what causes type two diabetes specifically. You know, some folks may think, well, I shouldn't be eating sugar, or if I do have diabetes, I can't eat sugar, but that's, that's not entirely true, correct? That's definitely not true. Uh, there are risk factors for diabetes, and the risk factors that really contribute to diabetes are a, a really poor diet, sedentary lifestyle, being overweight. Uh, we talked about some of the uh, ethnicity risk factors to that. Um, also family history can mm -hmm. contribute to it, but really the most important are the lifestyle risk factors, which is sedentary lifestyle, poor diet, and being overweight. And again, there are some ways that you can actually lower your risk of type two diabetes. Definitely, gotta reverse those, uh, those risk, uh, risk factors by exercising more than three times a week and uh, working on weight control and uh, uh, adapting a, a very good and healthy diet. And having, maintaining that blood pressure, that's a clear signal for someone, correct? Yes, patients that have high blood sugar and high blood pressure, Again, major contributors to the number one cause of death, which is heart disease. All right, a lot of warning signs out there. You just gotta be aware of them. Doctor, thank you so much for your time this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me, my pleasure.